see if your audience is ready, see if people are talking behind you. Tyler Clementi was an 18-year-old Rutgers student and a talented musician who killed himself for the ridicule he received for being gay. One must ask, what could Tyler have accomplished in his future had it not been cut short? This question inspired me to research who the three most influential gay figures in history were. After listening to my speech, you will know why Socrates, Leonardo da Vinci, and Susan B. Anthony are the three most influential gay figures in history. Socrates. Uh, these are all just my opinion, by the way. The top three are my opinion. And Socrates is number one. Um, some basic information on the man. He lived uh, 470 BC to 399 BC, and he was born in Athens. Um, he fought three major campaigns in the Athenian army, and uh, he dedicated his life to philosophy. Um, some of his lifetime accomplishments uh, in included his uh, invention of the Socratic, or the Socratic method, um, which influenced today's uh, scientific method, which I'm sure we all know about, where you form a hypothesis and you ask questions. Um, and the Socratic method, the way it worked, is it questioned beliefs, typically uh, your morality, or about justice and injustice. And um, you would ask questions, and you just continue asking questions until you eventually your, uh, your answer just arose. Um, Socrates believed that the best way for people to live was to focus on self-development rather than pursuit of material wealth. And uh, this was against the traditional Athenian views. So when Socrates was uh, alive, he wasn't necessarily liked by all because um, his views were different than the typical Athenian. Uh, the typical Athenian view would be uh, like love of family and your career and political views. Um, while Socrates just believed that having good morality and building self-virtues was uh, the purpose of life. Uh, in my opinion, the second most influential person or a gay figure of all time is Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, he lived from 1452 to 1519, and he was born in uh, Florence. He was most prominently known for his painting ability. However, he was an, an accomplished uh, painter, sculptor, architect, musician, mathematician, engineer, inventor, anatomist, geologist, cartographer, botanist, and writer. He was known as a, uh, a renaissance man with an unquenchable thirst for curiosity. Uh, he's also a military architect and a military engineer. Um, so focusing on just his paintings, which he was most known for, um, I took three of his most famous. One being the Mona Lisa, which is a portrait of Lisa uh, Gerardini that was painted between the years 1503 and 1506. Um, second, painting of his is The Last Supper, which I'm sure everyone's seen. It represents The Last Supper of Jesus, according to uh, the Gospel of John. And the third painting of his is The Battle of Angiari. And he worked on this with, uh, with Michelangelo. Right. Thirdly, the third most uh, influential gay figure is uh, Susan B. Anthony, and um, she lived during uh, 1820 to 1906. She was born in Massachusetts as the second oldest of seven children. She was born into the Quaker religion, and she learned to read and write at three years of age. Uh, she was a very prominent civil rights figure. Um, she was co-founder of a magazine uh, named Revolution, which the motto was, uh, the true republic men their rights and nothing more. Women, their rights and nothing less. The purpose of this magazine was to promote uh, women and African American equal rights and the right to suffrage. Uh, she was also a co-founder of the National Woman Suffrage Association and she uh, dedicated a lot of her life to forming alliances with other suffrage associations and other women and she built the uh, NWSA up to over 10,000 women in her lifetime. On November 18th, this is kind of just a fun fact. November 18th, 1872, she was arrested for voting in a uh, in the presidential election, and she fought it in court but lost and was given a $100 fine 
which she refused to pay and never did for the rest of her life. So, in conclusion, Socrates' contribution to Western philosophy and his concept known as the Socratic method make him the, or makes him the most influential gay figure in history. Leonardo da Vinci's masterful pieces of art, including the Mona Lisa, the Last Supper, and the Battle of Mene, make him the second most influential gay figure in history. Um, Susan B. Anthony's involvement in the civil rights movement, including her founding of the Revolution and the NWSA, make her the third most influential gay figure in history. The end. I'm not trying to prove you wrong or something, but what, what, what is the source that Socrates was gay? What proves it? It was, uh, that was typical in Greek, actually. It wasn't necessarily that he was just entirely homo homosexual, but Greek, or the Athenian uh, culture was based largely well, on homosexuality. That was a part of the warrior's training, the homosexuality, but if he wasn't gay, he had a son and wife. So. I'm the son of a gay man, actually, so. I know what. The end. <laughs>